This video is brought to you by OneFootball, the one and only place to get all your football news. Hey guys, it's Gameface here and welcome back to episode 12 of my Napoli Caremo. Now in today's episode, we've got three games to play. The first game is going to be against Benfica. As you can see, we are in uh, the Champions League. It's the round of 16 as well, so it's the first leg for us to play against Benfica here in today's episode. Then we've got another game to play just a few days later. That's against Cagliari, and that's in the league. It's an away match as well. And then four days after that, a game against Roma to play as well. So, some interesting games. Um, obviously, that's going to be a semi-final as well, so a tough match potentially for us. Uh, with the aim of obviously trying to get into the final. So three games that um, are across three different competitions and all of which are pretty important and ones that we have to try and win if we can. So before we get into today's episode, if we could try and hit 75 likes, then I'd really appreciate it. Also, please go ahead, smash the subscribe button as well down below and that'd be absolutely fantastic too. Uh, don't forget to leave your comments using that hashtag comment of the day down below as well to try and feature in the next episode. Today's comment of the, of the day is on screen right now. Thank you all so much for leaving your comments. I really do appreciate that. And um, yeah, let's crack up with today's episode. And this is I'm going to go with the opening game of today's episode. Kepa starts in goal. Florenzi, Koulibaly, Albiol, Mario Rui all in defence. We've got Alan, uh, Hamshik and Jorginho in midfield. Callahan, Mertens and his as our front three as always. Let's crack on with this game against Benfica. Let's try and get ourselves a good victory in the first round of the Champions League round of 16. Okay, let's crack on with this game against Benfica. Let's see how we get on. It's a game that we should really be beating them in, to be honest. And we've got to try and get ourselves a victory here. Our team is better than theirs, but it doesn't always come down to that. And a lot of things can happen during a game. So hopefully we get ourselves a victory. We've started off very well because we've injured one of their players. And we're not even two days in yet. So that's a good uh, good start to the game. I think that was Insigne. Was it going in quite harsh on one of their midfielders? Or even attackers, and that's a change for them, and we're only 1 minute 30 in. Great start for us. Mertens running at the defence, going to shoot, falls to Insigne. Oh, I thought he'd scored. Didn't quite get the finish right. Should do a little bit better, I think, actually, in the end there. So close to getting it around. Julio Cesar, but unable to uh, find the finish in the end. Insigne looked for the ball into Hamshik. Great chance on his left foot. What a finish. But unfortunately, unable to find the back of the net. Hits it so sweetly, um, but unable to get it past the goalkeeper yet again. A fantastic strike on that. Um, it was a little bit behind him. It's also on his left-hand side as well, but Julio Cesar saves. And Insigne to deliver the ball into the box. Good ball in, and it cleared away, though. Jorginho into Allen. Allen now over to Hamshik. Hamshik to shoot. Oh, off the post. And what a finish. And he's done it yet again. And it's Hamshik who gets the goal 28 minutes in. It's a fantastic finish as well. Really, really good finish off the post and into the back of the net. And it's from range. It's a really good strike. I saw in real life, actually, I think he's uh, taken over Maradona's scoring record, I think, at Napoli or equaled it or something like that. And um, so he's obviously doing great in real life uh, for goals as well as uh, for us in this as well. Look at that off the post and great finish. Plenty of power behind it. And it's just outside the box as well. Winning the game 1 0 now. Good way to take the lead um, against uh, Benfica. You can see there's no chance to the keeper getting there. Hamshik again running forward. He loves to do that. That's why he's getting on the score sheet so often. Now he's looking to create though. Into Gallo. What a pass. Oh, on the volley as well from Callahan. What a little ball over that was from Hamshik. Picks him out perfectly. The finish was always going to be tough. Obviously fairly near the goal. It's on the volley as well. I think it just comes off the head of the goalkeeper in the end. And out for a corner. It's going to be Insigne to deliver into the box. Can we pick anybody out this time please? Koulibaly gets there. Oh and he finishes it off as well. It's a great finish there from the centre back. He leaps in front of his marker and he finds the back of the net. Doubles our lead as well. 30 seconds left of the first half. The captain's done it and it's a really good finish. Finds the bottom left-hand corner with that header and we've got ourselves 2-0 up now. Julio Cesar had no chance of saving that, winning the game. And uh, yeah, that should be us now in a pretty good position going into the second leg as well with two away goals here. So I'm um, very happy to see that happen. And look at that for a leap. Fantastic stuff. It's Signe going to shoot. Oh, it's a third. What a run as well. We've added to the scoreline again just before half time. It's just a few moments later. It's Signe runs forward really well. Just runs at the defence who are backing off constantly. They don't go forward to him. You can just see the way that he approaches and then they back off, back off and back off. And eventually he balls the trigger and there's no stopping that. Chudo says I'm in the wrong position and Insigne gets the strike perfect. It's 3-0 and the game should nearly be over to be honest just from that. At least in this leg anyway um, because obviously 3-0 up, 3 away goals. We're looking in a good position. It's half time now. Overall very happy with how we've got on. Uh, we're going to now progress on to the second half and hopefully try and answer the scoreline. Allen into Hamshik. Hamshik running forward to shoot again. Oh, this time I think it's the post or the bar. I couldn't quite tell. It might even be in the corner of the goal, but it's a fantastic strike again from Hamshik. Great little one-two. Made his way forward and nearly scored another one for us. 
he's such a threat when he gets into those four positions. And it's a chance here for Jorginho. He got a, a one attempt at a goal, and it was, uh, again, saved by the goalkeeper. And still reigns 3-0. That's so close to a fourth. Had two good chances there from both midfielders. And uh, still looking to add to the scoreline. Okay, all three changes now. We're going to take off Koulibaly, who's very tired. Hamshik and Insigne also coming off as well. That um, means we'll bring on one of our younger centre-backs to give him a bit more of a chance. He's not had that much game time, but he does look pretty good in game. Uh, Pulisson and Unax also come on as well. Uh, no Milik for this game. He'll return, I think, probably for the next match. And that also means Mertens will drop in at centre-attacking mid, just in behind the striker now. Jorginho makes a great run forward. He's still got a few more players to beat. He could do some support here. He's going to get it from Pulisson, who lays it off here to Mertens, who's still running into the box. Mertens! Oh, what a save. Should have been a fourth. That's a great save from the goalkeeper. Mertens. He's in a shooting position here. Mertens! Oh, you've got to hit the target. So much time, so much space, but over the bar. Mertens again getting forward. Look for a shot still. Oh, again over the bar. Hits it so well, but just so well over the bar. Uh, he needs to try and keep them down a little bit more. It does seem to put a lot of power behind them. And that just goes over the bar yet again. If he kept a, like those last couple down, he might be a, might have actually made it 5-0 for us. To be honest. We've had a lot of good shots then five in this game. Pjellison over to Callahan. Callahan now over to Mertens. Mertens looking for a cut back into Pjellison. Oh, what a bit of play that was as well. Pjellison scores. It's 4-0. Finally added another one to the scoreline in this uh, second half. And um, Pulisson is the, go the guy that gets the goal. He's the substitutes, and it's a really good bit of play. He was involved earlier on in the build-up as well. He played it out wide, brought it back inside. Good little touch, and fires it into the back of that. Really, really good bit of play here. You can see Pulisson starts on the edge of the box. And eventually, it finds its way back to him. He takes a little touch, and was the first one to react to that. It was a you know fairly bad touch in that sort of area. It wasn't that close to him, but the first one to react, he got there first and uh, fired into the top of the goal, into the left-hand corner, winning the game 4-0. Very, very happy with that. That's it. 4-0 victory. Gets us, obviously, four away goals here against Benfica. Puts in a really strong position going into the second leg uh, in order to get through, I think, into the quarterfinals of the Champions League, which is obviously something we need to be trying to do. We want to go on to hopefully try and challenge to win it. That's going to be the aim. It's going to be very tough, but certainly got to try and get through into the next round. Zero shots for Benfica. Wow, I'm sure they had a lot more than zero, put it that way, but very strange anyway to see that happen. Man United won their game 1 0 against the Olympiacos. Um, could be one of the teams we potentially come up against in the next round if we get there. Okay, so the game against Cacaleri now. This is the team I'm going to go with. It's obviously very changed. We're going with a 5 3 2 formation, so mixing things up a little bit for this game. Just because I think it can get a little bit stale if you keep the same formation, same team all the time. Obviously, we have to change the team round with it being uh, four days after the last game. So, Kepa starts in goal, Forenzi, um, Tonalini, Maximovic, and one of the younger centre backs that I can't remember the name of, also starting there with Guerrero on the left hand side as well. Diwara, Zielinski, and Rog all in midfield. The Pillars and Milik up front, so an interesting partnership that we haven't tried out before. We've certainly not tried this formation before either with this team. Uh, so, you can see the bench I've gone though. I've gone with there. It's obviously a very strong bench. Mertens misses out completely, as does Jorginho and a few others but this is the team we're going to go with it's obviously um, a tough game essentially against Kekaleri it's an away match um, I think we're currently three points in front of second place or something like that um, so we'll wait to see exactly how we get on uh, we've got a game against Roma in about four days as well so obviously resting a lot of our key players for that Yanisai plays to Kekaleri did not know that or at least he signed him anyway on the screen but that's an interesting one for them we'll wait to see exactly how we get on against Kekaleri hopefully get ourselves uh, three points in this game the reason why I've gone five at the back is because I'm anticipating that they're going to go three at the back um, and so I'm deciding to, um, well, it, they also said that they might go with two up front as well. So I'm going to try and go with the five in order to like, try and outplay the, the two strikes, if that makes sense. So we'll always see exactly what formation they do end up playing. But I think we'll just go with this and hopefully cause them some issues with two strikes up against three centre-backs. Oh, so close. An open goal there for Cagliari, who have passed around really well in midfield, to be fair to them. Maybe it's because their outnumbering is a little bit midfield. That might be something we have to look at. Um, if we need to, we might go to a three at the back, although again, it's a little bit risky against their two strikers. So, yeah, it could be an interesting game, this one. Millet going to try and turn and shoot. Oh, it's from range, but I thought it had gone in. So close, just goes wide. Really, really good uh, opportunity there for Millet. Just turns his man, a little bit of space to shoot from, so I thought I'd give it a go, but our first shot of the game just goes wide. Okay, change the formation now. We are going to go with um, a 4-3-3 type formation. Not quite going with wingers, because we don't really have wingers on the pitch at the moment, so we're going to go with this. Milik and Rog just tucked in a little bit, but Pulisson as our striker. Tonalini is going to go play as a whole midfielder now as well, um, just because we've obviously got a few more defenders on the pitch. 30 minutes in, just trying to change things a little bit. I think, obviously, three attackers against three defenders is much better than having two strikes against three defenders, so that's what we're going to go with, and hopefully cause them some issues, as well as try and push back that midfield a little bit. Milik on the overlap here to Guerrero. Going to look for a ball in to try and pick out Pulisson. Or oh, nobody instead. Well played. Milik, he wins it back. Milik looking for the cut back here into Rogue. Oh, over the bar. Should score. 
really good chance there, and Rog just fights over. Two is left of the first half, frustrating to not have done more with that, should at least hit the target. Again, it rises too much, but well played though. I think uh, Peterson or Milik, it might be Milik that won it back there. Half time, nil nil, disappointing first half. Uh, should be really doing much better than this. Also, it's a change team, change formation. All those sort of changes aren't helping us, clearly, but um, we are certainly just about edging it in terms of chances. So, we've got to try and improve in the second half. There's a lot more that we can do. Um, I still think we're going to win this game. Good little one two here. Rock's running forward again. This time it's left foot and he scores. He puts it in front. He's done it. He's given us the breakthrough goal six minutes into the second half. It's a good little one two actually there with Milik who just plays it down to so his Rock who initially I think wins the header. Uh, he plays it over to Milik. Uh, you see that we win a header there. He wins that header in front of the defender. It's a good little one two. And that through the back can't handle that little so a bit of play there between the two attackers. And he scored on his left foot. It's one nil and Rock gets himself a goal. Well played, Zelinski over to Rock. Rock looking for a ball in, what a ball in for Milik! It's 2-0, that's fantastic football yet again. We found a way um, over to the right-hand side, obviously, to get that cross into the box. I just hope he would have a body in there. It happens to Milik, who we know how good he is in the air. He's scored plenty of headers off the bench for us in particular. And it's a great delivery in for Rock. This time he turns from goal scorer to goal creator with that ball in. And it's a good little header there from Milik. You can just see the way that we feed the ball out to the right-hand side. Got a couple of men over there. We knew that we had one body in there. And he managed just to get in front of the centre-back and score it. 2-0. Very happy to double our lead. First two changes, Unas and Gulan both go on. We're going to take off Guerrero and Rog. Uh, Guerrero is very tired. He's played quite a lot recently. Rog's coming off as well because he's fairly tired. He has had a very good game, to be fair to him. Um, but he is going to come off and get rested. So Unas can come on to the right-hand side. He doesn't usually play over there. He's usually on the left-hand side. We're going to put him on to the right-hand side so he can cut in on his left. Unas on the left-hand side to Milik this time. Milik. Oh, it's a tough angle, but... Hit it well, maybe at the outside of his boot there, again saved by the keeper who's keeping it at 2-0 for now, uh, but we are having plenty of chances and we're tearing uh, Kegelari apart now to throw more players forward. Pillerson, oh brilliant, over to Unas, now over to Zelinski who gets challenged and that's actually um, being seen as a good uh, challenge on him, but I thought maybe he missed the ball there, obviously didn't quite see that properly myself, but I was expecting maybe a penalty at that point. Oh, one back here by the attacker, good chance for them to pull him back, and oh, that's a very, very annoying one. Because they've done nothing in this game, they've really done nothing, especially in the second half, they've done barely anything. And so to lose the ball like that, yeah, with a big mistake you know, in defence, is frustrating. To capitalise on it, made it 2-1, it makes the game look really close, and it hasn't been like that at all, we've had a lot of chances. We made the final change, four minutes to go, not too much point, but we'll do it anyway. Allen on, Zelinski to come off, four minutes left, can't believe we conceded a goal there. We look so in control this game, um, very frustrating to now make it a little bit of a nervous last four minutes. Alan running forward here to Pulison. Pulison, it's not a nervous four minutes now. He's scored two goals in front yet again. Pulison does it. It's not the greatest of finishes, uh, but it's mainly down to the poor goalkeeping that it goes into the back of the net. 3-1. Found ourselves back in front by two goals yet again. Good run here from Allen right through the middle. Just plays it through. He's only been on the pitch a minute. And he got himself an assist there. The keeper should do better though. Decent response from that mistake. Oh, what a ball. What a ball to Milik. That is from Unas. Picks him out perfectly. Milik. Oh, such a tight angle. Pilerson will follow up, though. Keeper will get there first and punch it away. That's a fantastic ball from Unas there. Picks him out perfectly. And what a way to end the game. 3 1 victory. And we have got ourselves three points there. Definitely an improved performance since we changed formation. Obviously, started with the fight at the back. Probably the wrong decision now. Looking back, we should have really gone uh, with the 4-3-3. But I want to try and mix it up a little bit. I don't really like using the same formation loads. I like to try and keep things a little bit interesting for myself and as well for you watching. So I did go with a different formation. Then I changed things up and we went with the sort of um, the left and right forwards instead with the 4-3-3. That works pretty well, actually. That works really well. I think uh, each of our front three scored as well. Leon Junior goes up to 69 overall this week. That's good news for him. That was his dribbling stat that just uh, tipped him over the edge which is good to see. Unas is getting a little bit closer to 80 overall, still a few weeks away possibly, uh, but it will be good to see him eventually reach that. Play suspended, DOR misses the next game due to too many yellow cards. Okay, it's so the final game of today's episode. It's obviously going to be against Roma in the semi-finals of the cup competition. This is the team we're going to go with. Again, as you can see, gone with that formation we used in the last game, and we're going to wait and see how he gets on with that. Kepa starts in goal, got Gula at right back, Koulibaly, Albiol, and Mario Rui there at left back. Uh, Jorginho, Hamshik, and Allen in midfield. Callahan, Mertens, and Sinead as our front three, as usual. You can see that it helps us with those guys, 
looked in a little bit more, we'll wait and find out. If not, we'll change it back to the usual formation that we go with. Um, but yeah, I guess we'll wait and see. Hopefully it's uh, okay. Hopefully we still perform uh, pretty well with this team and uh, we'll wait and find out during the game. Okay, let's go with this game against Roma. Let's see whether we can get ourselves into the final of this cup competition. It's obviously another competition that we want to win. Um, obviously, uh, we are always trying to win as many competitions as possible. We'll wait and see how exactly we get on here in this game. I think they're playing a 4-3-3 formation as well, so we'll wait and see uh, who comes out on top in this game. Obviously, ours is slightly different with the uh, left and right forwards instead of wingers. Oh, it's got to be a card. Come on. Keep on hacking us down. Only 11 minutes in. There's been about three fouls on our players now. Miller turns the ball through to Callahan. Callahan going to turn himself and shoot. Oh, what a finish as well. It's 1-0. We've taken the lead. And Callahan does it. We could have played it over to Insigne, who I think made a good run on the left-hand side of us. But it's a great turn, nevertheless, from Callahan, who finishes perfectly into the top right-hand corner. Look at this. Had a few different runners coming in here. Um, Callahan was obviously the one that we played it to. And then Insigne could have been played through himself. But opens up the space. And it's a great little turn to lose the defender. And a fantastic finesse around the goalkeeper. 1-0. Oh, ball through, Nangolan's running through, and he equalises. Terrible defending. It's about as bad as it can possibly get. Frustrating, because we just allow them through, we open up the defence for them and let them walk through there. Frustrating as well to, uh, to see that happen so soon after you score the goal. A couple of minutes later, they equalise. Um, yeah, poor defending. Gotta watch that back on the replay, because um, as you can see, there's so many mistakes. So we step up here, I think, with Koulibaly. These are all over the place. It's an easy little one too, and they're through in this score. So yeah, can't have too many complaints about them scoring when we defend so badly. Merton's still trying to lose his man. Ball over to Hamshik here. He's going to take a touch and shoot. Oh, what a finish from Hamshik. He's done it again. He puts us back in front. It's just two minutes later. It's 2-1 and Hamshik scores. That's a great finish. Yes, again from the midfielder. He can just pull that out of the bag. He's not even playing as a centre attacking mid in this game. He's playing further back in this match. And so I have noticed he's not going forward as much. He does get a little bit further forward in this uh, attack. You can see he gets a little bit of space. Not much. He's got one player behind one in front. And he just fires from range. It's a really good strike. Hits it so sweetly. And just finds the top left-hand corner perfectly. Look at that. No stopping that. 2-1 back in front. Hamshik again gets forward. Oh, should have been a goal. I won't often criticise him, but that should be a goal for Hamshik there. So close to a third one. And you see the way he gets forward again. Just somehow manages to find space and should hit the tags at least. But really should have scored that one. What a throw that is. What a way to get a counter-attack going. Kepa with a huge throw up to our attackers there. Still got a chance here to create something as well. Callahan ball through to Mertens. Oh, so close to getting ourselves a goal. All came straight from the goalkeeper. What distribution that was as well. Hamshik has won it back for us. Still going. Callahan into Jorginho. And it's there. We've got ourselves the third goal on the stroke of half time. It all starts on the goalkeeper with that initial attack. And then Hamshik wins it back brilliantly. And then we go on and score. Incredible play. And a really good football as well. So keep on going and keep on winning it back. And we've got ourselves a two-goal advantage now for Roma. Fully deserved as well just for how much uh, Hamshik wanted that challenge. And the throw from the keeper initially was great. And a great finish from Jorginho on top of that. Half-time still win the game 3-1. Let's go with our second half straight away. Um, still looking to add to the scoreline. Also going to make sure not to let Roma back into this game. They've had one shot and they've scored. So it tells you that they shouldn't really be out into this game at all. Gone. Oh, again was on target. What a strike from Hamshik. He can just shoot from anywhere. It's a good save by the goalkeeper out for a corner. He's saying he'll play this one short to Mertens. Can we pick anybody out here with this ball in? There's a few players in there. And it's a fourth goal. I think it might be Callahan that gets it. Doesn't seem like Hamshik. I think it is Callahan, judging by his boots. And it's 4-1. We've scored. It's seven minutes into the second half. And the game should be near enough over now. I know there's a little bit of time still left in this match. And they could pull one or two back. But uh, it certainly seems very unlikely that that would happen. Great little um, short corner. Good little ball in from Mertens. And a nice little header. Not marked properly in the middle. So it's always going to uh, be a nice free header for him. And into that connect it goes. That's the second goal of the game as well. So he's on for a hat-trick now. All three changes now. We are going to bring on Milik, Unas and Guerrero. We'll take off Hamshik. We'll also take off Mertens and Insigne. Give those guys a rest. There's 15 minutes to go. Four one up. We should now win this game. And go through to the next round. Milik desperately trying to run away from the defender here. He's still going as well. Milik's doing really well. Can he find a cross into Callahan maybe at the back post? It's intercepted. And it's a great finish from Unas. The substitutes. It's the two substitutes that combine to score. They've only been on the pitch a couple of minutes. But it's a fantastic counter-attack as well uh, from the opposition's corner there. And we've got ourselves another goal. 5-1 now with 12 minutes left of this game. And we seem to do this a lot against the bigger sides. Against the more difficult teams. We seem to score a lot of goals against them. And it's purely because they try and attack us so much. It happened with Juventus. We 
beat them 8-1, I think it was. Um, and it just all is because they try and attack too much against us. And so that means that they leave huge gaps in defence and we just seem to exploit them on the counter-attack. We've done it there. It's a really good play yet again. And now it's 5-1. Or oh, chance. 5-2. I mean, how fluky have their goals been in this game? Unbelievable. Uh, that second one, anyway, has been very, very fluky. Nine minutes left. It's 5-2. The score virtually from straight from kickoff. Um, you can just see on the replay here, we try and obviously get to the, the cross. We don't do that. We should do that. And you can just see there's just too many players in the box. I mean, I don't often say that. There's too many guys back trying to defend. And so we just can't clear. I think we kick it to our, our own player. And it's an easy finish there for their attacker. Goalkeeper should do better, probably. But, yeah, 5-2. The game's over, anyway. Guerrero gets him forward. Look to pull the trigger. Guerrero, good save by the keeper. Just about keeps it at five for now. There's three minutes left of this game. We'll play it short. Guerrero's usually pretty good from this sort of position with a cross. Oh, it's a good ball in, but put straight by the keeper. Oh, Milik's won it back. It's Paul defending. And Milik will finish it off at 6-2. That's really bad from the centre-back. He should do better than that. Milik puts him under pressure, wins it back. And again, he's in the goals for us. He's scoring a lot at the moment off the bench. He's obviously best, I think, at coming off the bench and scoring. He did obviously start in the last game and did a good job. But he wins it back, just shrugs him off. Wins it back and gets the finish perfect. Round the goalkeeper, it's now 6-2. Really, really good finish. And uh, good play from the striker. That's it. 6-2 victory against Rome. We've knocked them out of the cup. We're into the next round, more importantly. And uh, that means I think we're into the final now, I'm pretty sure. So very happy to see that happen. Six goals. Pretty decent against such a good team. Uh, we completely dominated them for most of the game. They had a few good chances and obviously scored two goals, but um, overall it was always it was always going to be us winning the game. I think seven shots on target, scoring six is pretty good as well. Um, very clinical in that game. I think that's what took us through into the next round. I've also got to play them in the next game as well, next episode. Uh, so looking forward to that game. They're currently third in the league table and they're eight points behind us. So there's a little bit of gap between us and them. But Inter Milan three points behind us, so they're still in with a, a good shout here for the title race. The title race is still very much on. Uh, but that will be everything for today's episode thank you all so much for watching if we could try and hit 75 likes then i'd really appreciate it also please go ahead smash the subscribe button as well down below if you haven't already i'd really appreciate that also let me know in the comments section below if you are newly subscribed as well that'd be absolutely great don't forget to leave your comments using the hashtag comment of the day and i will read and reply to them as usual you might even feature in the next episode thanks for watching and i'll see you guys next time goodbye